Hey everybody, Frank Sapsky here to Polish Pizziola, 23% Italian, member of the Pizza Gavones. We review the pizza, the place, and the personality. Before we get going in this video, I want to talk to you about a couple of things. One, if you haven't already done it, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Pizza Gavones. Two, we have a thriving Facebook group called All About New Haven Style of Beats. We have over 13,000 people there. All we do is talk about pizza, specifically New Haven style. It's a great group. And I definitely uh, would appreciate if you guys come check it out. The last thing is, on our Pizza Gavones YouTube channel, we have three videos. One is how to make the dough for New Haven style pizza, or a beats as we call it in New Haven. Two is how to take that dough from the dough proofing container to the dish. And we're going to cover everything, including um, how to assemble it, how to bake it in your oven on a steel plate. It's very informative. Uh, and I got a lot of good feedback on it. And the last one is how to make the sauce for New Haven style pizza. And in the end, if you like everything I have here, please give me a like. I would really appreciate it. And let everyone know that's interested in pizza about our channel. Thank you very much. The next video is going to be how to show you guys how to do a knuckle stretch. And I, I produced another video how to do a bench stretch. And again, I want to go over the difference. A knuckle stretch is going to be something that's going to give you a hard outer crust and a soft middle and a bench stretch is going to be more chewy and crackery and they're very different styles. Here we go with the knuckle stretch. I have my dough in my dredge. Again, this is a 16 inch pizza pan with some bench flour, nothing special. A question I get asked a lot is do I have to use the same flour that I created the dough with in doing this uh, stretch? And the answer is you can use whatever you want. I like to use the same flour that I made the dough with, but you don't have to. You could use all purpose flour. This is bread flour specifically, but it doesn't matter. So I've got my dough in this dredge and I'm just gonna kind of give it a general shape, you know, a circle. And all I'm doing is taking my fingers, I'm going nice and nice all around it. Now I've got a general shape, so I'm going to take this in my hands. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this dough and I'm going to put it on the knuckles, here and here, and sometimes even on my fingertips. But it's called a knuckle stretch. And the process is to take the dough and to pull it apart. And that's how you get your shape and your size. So I take this dough and you'll notice that my hands are going apart. I flip it around and all I'm doing is pulling it out. And what I want to show you is this is what I'm doing. So I'm going to put this back in my hands. Now I get to the point that it gets fairly large and so I usually take the dough and I put it in one hand and I use this and I kind of give it a little bit of a stretch on the edge. And all I'm doing is pulling it out. And you can see probably, you could probably see through this. This is pretty much, this dough is pretty much ready. I'm doing one more little stretch here. Goes on the peel. And there you have it. That's a knuckle stretch. Again, this is going to give you soft in the middle, crunchy on the outside. Very different from the bench stretch, which is going to be more chewy and crackery, and some people like either or. But I'm just telling you that there's a big difference. Thanks, guys. Hope this helped you out. Any questions, let me know.